Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man who swears the dog ate his battle plans, Craig Charles. Robots fall into two groups. Either they're your Terminators, psychopathic killing machines who'd sooner cut off your arms than say how you're diddling, or they're like C-3PO, always packing a light lunch whenever Luke Skywalker goes on a suicide mission. So which category do the robots in Robot Wars fall? After all, some of them are cute, some of them are colourful, and some of them look like the demon love child of a microwave oven and a vacuum cleaner. The thing is, whatever they look like, the eight robots here to do battle for a place in our series semi-finals are Terminators, every last one. Let's just hope I'm not the one they've come back to kill. Philippa, who are tonight's psychos? Thank you, Craig. We have a gathering of stunning, stunning, stunning robots in the pits at the moment. This is Victor. First up, you can't see, unless you come round here, the flail, which is the most significant part. If you can... Wow. And apparently it goes so fast that it goes blurry, so that's going to inflict some damage. Look at this monster. This is, how do you pronounce it? Tum Trun. Thank you very much, because I'm not very good at my pronunciation. It's the most, most beautiful creature. It used to be a lot more lethal, but it was far too big and far too heavy, so they had to take off half the weapons. But the important thing is they kept the decoration, which I think is really good. This is Trident. In here is a modified stair lifter. Would you believe it? But it's shiny now, and it's beautiful. Hopefully not to have too many scratches on it. You may understand why this is called Scarab when you look at its pincers. And how much pressure did you say these two can inflict? Um, two and a half tons at the tips of the jaws. Yeah, so that's got to hurt. And hello! Hi. Dreadnought team. Yeah. No, Dreadnought, well, team and helper. Because Ken, you may remember, is on holiday in Florida. So we're not saying hello to him because we're very annoyed with him for lying by the pool. It's outrageous. <laughs> uh, modifications include... New, new motor for the forks. New motor for the fork and a complete makeover. And a complete makeover. New shell. It's fantastic. This is a, a new one, Rattus Rattus, who apparently is very old because he came through in the 17th century. In the 17th, 14th. 14th century, was it that long ago? Oh, my memory. He's forgotten. <laughs> Carrying the bubonic plague. Rattus Rattus used to be a lot longer, but then they realised they couldn't fit him in the car and bring him to Robot Wars, so they had to cut him in half. He still works just as well, though, apparently. This is Psycho Killer. They tell me it's Salvador Dali painting on the front. Yeah, I can see, I can see. Classic wedge shape with the axe. So hopefully that will work very well. We know from the past it does. Smithy stands for... Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. Which we'll be expecting this lot to say when they come out of that horrible arena. The gnashing jaws of doom will be inflicted on anyone who comes anywhere near Smithy, I think. What, the gnashing jaws of Rattus Rattus spreading pestilence? Or will it be Smithy for sorry, mate, I dented and smashed you? Twin Trin against Trident looks like a shiny wheelie bin. Scarab with the pincers against Victor 2 here to stay all gone in a blur. Psycho killer Dali on a wedge against the alien-looking Dreadnought. That's how they line up in round one. Too late for our robots to kiss and make up now. Let the wars begin! From Guernsey, Rattus Rattus. The longest in the heat, even though it has been chopped down to fit in the boot. The chassis from an old desk, its forward-facing spikes and battery-driven flail are dangerous. It'll row dent a few hopes, that's for sure. Hi, I'm Gary. This is Rick. Uh, this, is our, this is our robot, Rattus Rattus. It's called Rattus Rattus, which is the Latin name for the common rat. As you can see, it's quite common. It sustained some injuries previously in other fights uh, when it came from Mesopotamia in the 11th century. It went across Europe in the 14th century, killed 25 million people, and now it's here at Robot Wars. From Kent, Smidzy. They describe their weaponry as gnashing jaws, crushing jaws, lift you up and dismember jaws. Cool, they can't off jaw this team. They say it took six weekends to build and six months talking about it. I'm Mike Reed of Team Ixian, and this is Robin, who's our driver, and Andy, and this is our robot Smidzy. We call it Smidzy because it stands for sorry mate, I didn't see you. Um, we're motorbikers and if you get knocked off by a car, the first thing the driver says is sorry mate, I didn't see you. We've made Smidzy so it'll be flippable, run either way up, and we've got the jaws so that we can change them, we can go under another robot, over the top of it, depending on which way up we are. Robot ears, stand by. Rattus, Rattus, from the 14th century, what's that all about? Gary Pike and Richard Ozan, his teammate, and Smidzy there. With the driver, Robin Bennett, in control. When it opens its jaws, Smitty looks like a giant, great big black and red clothes peg, I think. 
And it's Rattus Rattus on the attack. No gnawing jaws, but there at the back, the flail. There's Robin Bennett at the controls of Smitty. Spent six months touring Australia by motorbike. They're all big bikers in the team. And how annoying is it when a car driver says to you, a biker? Yeah, I didn't see you, mate. Now, it's Rattus Rattus just gnawing away at Smitty once again. Pushing him in towards the CPZ. Don't forget, once you've been pushed into a CPZ, the house robot can grab you. Let's have a look at this moment again. Rattus Rattus up and over Smitty and bouncing healthily away again the little push you can see there the tactic being used is to push towards the CPZ Kilolot's waiting for anything loose Rattus Rattus the more aggressive of the two so far onto the arena spike which has become such a, a feature of this series and really Smitty doing very little attacking work it's all Rattus Rattus and eventually, I'm sure, he's just going to push Smitty in towards the CPZ. He'll get there in the end. Bouncing around. It's dead metal awaiting. Can't come out of the CPZ to gather a robot unless it's on the fringe. Ah, Smitty, low enough to avoid the pincers of dead metal. Robin Bennett trying to get Smitty on the attack, perhaps. Needs to. In comes Rattus Rattus with one drive. Boys to come in with another slam. Oh, Rattus Rattus in trouble. Slammed against dead metal pincers, and the body shell almost came flying off. Eh? She separated from the main frame, the chassis made from an old desk, and off comes the fur covered alloy shell. And now, onto the flame pit as well. So, trouble here for Rattus Rattus. What on earth is that underneath the, the top part of the jaws, if you like? Gary Bite looks bemused. A little twitch from him, and also from the front of the rat. And was he caught in a rat trap there? Well, there's still life in Robin Bennett and his team. A little tug on the beard of Andy Pugh there on the right. Now the circular saw of dead metal slicing into the top of Smitzy. It's going to be quite close, this, in the end. Unless Smitzy's pushed towards, 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 towards the pit! Get in! Get in! Pit, 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 pit! Yes! Smitty's finished. I think Radis Radis deserved it in the end. The rogue rules. Rattus, Rattus, go through. because, you know, even though you're out, what a fantastic fight, wasn't well, I'm glad it? it? I'm glad it looked good. Are we out? Yeah, we, had we, need, we need a tyre now. We need a tyre. Well, I just put that one on. Oh, outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> but you inflicted oh, yeah. some damage there on Rattus Rattus. No, we didn't. Not they, well. They, 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 they rammed us badly and yes. damaged themselves there. <laughs> yeah, so, and the Rattus Rattus are really good guys. And, like, we, yes. wouldn't have, we wouldn't have even fought today if they hadn't lent us half their tools and <laughs> um, a good yeah, chunk of their spares. Really? <laughs> yeah, so yeah the really spirit in the pits has been amazing. We've yeah. been working on that for the last two days. So, yeah. what can you say? Wonderful. Fantastic. Really good bunch of people. Look! All this woodwork nailed up. There's some nasty spikes out there. What, what was this bit that was hanging well, that, out? That was to stop the front from collapsing, which didn't work. No, oh, it's all in bits in there. It is, but we won. You won. It you was won. stunning. I was saying to the other guys, it was one of the best fights I've seen in but, an awfully long but time. But I have something to say to the other chaps. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> but I tell you, you fight a good fight. It's a speedy robot. It is. It's fantastic. But really, seriously, are you going to be ready to fight again? Because look at the state of that. Just uh, cosmetic. Just wounds. cosmetic. It's, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Innards we've were falling worse. out. We've had worse, haven't we? We've had worse. We've had worse. Yes, okay. it's only a flesh wound. OK, you'll be all right. Indeed. Well, I'm very proud of you. You're not afraid to get your whiskers frazzled. Whiskers frazzled or not, Rattus Rattus through. And next up, Tun Trun against Trident. From North Wales, Tun Tarrant. What work has gone into that spooky-looking fibreglass shell? The motors are from 12-volt wheelchairs. It cost just £200 to build the intrinsic car. My name's Mark. I'm the team captain of Tum Trum. I've, in my team, I've got Ian and Nick. Our main weapon for Tum Trum is its forehead. 
at the moment because we had to take the weapon off the front. Um, it's made out of fiberglass and it's developed over a period of time and didn't start off quite like this the first day. From Leeds, Trident. Two drive motors and another for the weapon make this tri-drive Trident with an axe body shell of stainless steel. The chassis is a modified stair climber. At 20 miles an hour, it's the fastest in the world. Hi, my name's Stephen. And this is Neil and Peter. He's the captain of the team. And this is Trident, our robot. <laughs> it's got these stair climber wheels and an axe weapon powered by an electric motor.